I first met Corey Remsburg, a proud Army Ranger, at Omaha Beach on the 65th anniversary of D-Day. He was a strong, impressive young man, he had an easy manner, he was sharp as a tack. And we joked around and took pictures, and I told him to stay in touch. A few months later, on his 10th deployment, Corey was nearly killed by a massive roadside bomb in Afghanistan. The next time I met him in the hospital, he couldn't speak. Over the years, he's endured dozens of surgeries and procedures, hours of grueling rehab every day. But slowly, steadily, Corey has grown stronger. My recovery has not been easy, he says. Nothing in life that's worth anything is easy. Corey, you're already an inspiration for a, a lot of folks, man, for you to be able to also be involved in an organization like that. That's great. Really proud of you. Hey, Corey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. You're moving pretty good. Trying. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. <laughs> how you doing? You look great. No stop. <laughs> you do. Frank, it's great to see you. How are you? Great, thank you. Come on, let's get, we got to get a good picture in front of the desk. Come on, you hang on to it. Honestly, never thought I'd be in the Oval Office. So, that's very special to me. And to add what I'm doing now, just the icing on the cake. Yeah, it's always something that, uh... You know, whenever I think back of my service as president, my, uh, my getting to know you has been one of the most important things I've done. So I really believe that. And uh, from that first time, the second time meeting, when he was in the, in the uh, hospital bed at Bethesda Naval Hospital, to now that uh, Corey's going to show him, you know, what, what he can do. And what, what's good about when people don't give up and uh, keep showing hope. At first she was my ranger background, I'm not crazy. Now it's, let's see what all I can do. Pushing the limits.